basically when I was about 55 years old, I had a choice between early retiring at TRW or uh, doing something else. One of the things I was most frustrated about at TRW was hiring computer science grads who knew a lot about compilers, but hardly anything about software engineering. And coming to a university and, and trying to teach them how to do real software engineering was uh, really the stimulus for doing that. The other kind of research projects that we've been doing are uh, tools that help us make these projects go well, like risk management tools and progress tracking tools and requirements negotiation tools. Uh, uh, other ones are things that the affiliates wanted, like cost models that estimated software costs uh, the way it's being done in the 21st century rather than the 20th century, and uh, branching out into models that would estimate quality, estimate system engineering costs, uh, estimate product lines, and, and, and things like that. One of the things that's very interesting is when, when the government uh, uh, puts together a, a panel of people to help them do a better job of cost estimating, they, they get Ricardo Valerdi from the University of, Air, uh, of Arizona, they get Brad Clark from Software Metrics, they get Ray Mattake from the Navy Postgraduate School, they get Lee Guo Huang from Southern Methodist, uh, and they get a couple of our people from IBM and the like. And, and they're all basically grads from the USC PhD program here. So uh, it, it's remarkable you know, how, how large a fraction of cost estimation experts come from here when, when you look at the field. Mm -hmm.